Hi there, Chris here. I'm gonna do a review on these Sparrows picks. And they are the wafer picks, and the wafer lock picks, and the uh, warded lock picks. And they come in this little package, this little box. Cool Sparrows logo on it. Um, they sell for 32 bucks US. Um, and about six bucks shipping and this is what you get you get a zipper pull I think show that again I think that's what that is you get uh, warded lock picks has a nice little key fob on here with the Sparrows logo. And you get, how many you get? Four of these different ones. And you get these wafer picks. So I'm gonna start with the warded picks and get these out of the package, get them ready. Um, you get four of these. Same cool key fob. So, the reason I got these, because um, I have this cool little Avis 222. Made in Germany. It's a very cool old lock. I do have a key for it. has quite a bit of spring tension but I wanted to see if I could get in with this type of pick and if I remember the the right the correct one I can get in there we go so that would be this one. And I'm very careful with this one. I don't want to screw it up, so. Um, but this will open it. That's very kind of cool. So we'll put that aside. Um, also, here's a big old crusty Yale. Uh, and this is a warded lock. And that one isn't it. Might be this one. Why do these things work? <laughs> they work when you have the camera off. We'll try this one. Nope. Let's try a little or a smaller one. What you do is you go in there and you try and feel where the grab is. Don't know if we've tried this one. There we go. So kind of cool to be able to get in some of these old locks with these picks. On the other hand, we have these. These are the wafer lock picks. Oh, this is a warded lock. Um, I can get into this one with these guys. And I can also get into this little 99. you can barely see on there but it is an old 99 and I can't remember whoops who who makes this lock made in USA so it's not an Abus somebody knows anyway some old cool locks that you can get into now with the wafer locks or the wafer picks I just picked this 
um, the other day on my channel. And let's see if we can get in. So I put it in and rock it around. I don't think I'm getting in. Well, there we are. We're all the way in. But I'm not getting anywhere. I'll try another one. Gotta be careful sticking these in locks because <laughs> you can get them stuck. So it doesn't open. These don't. And I've tried the others. They don't open this lock. Uh, this lock I opened the other day. I have these, which I got on eBay. And they seem to work great. Um, you get 10 of these, and you get 10 little sawtooth ones for like, I don't know, 22 bucks or something. They come from China. Sometimes you can find uh, somebody who has them in the U.S. They come from China, you know, it's going to be three weeks. They come from the U.S. I found somebody who, in, who was in the U.S., even in California. So it was like, I don't know, four days. But back to these guys. Um, here's a cool sleigh maker. And my problem with these Sparrows picks is they don't, I haven't picked anything with them. Ever. Um, I, I don't quite understand it. And I could go through all of these, but I have tried that, and I have not picked any of these wafer locks. So, then I thought, oh, well, Sparrows puts out these ignition practice locks, and they're wafer locks. This one's three, three wafers, they have a six wafer, and they have a ten wafer. And I picked them all, single pin picking, and I picked them with uh, these guys. But you know what? I've never, where's my thing? So far anyway, been able to get in with Sparrow's own wafer picks. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I make a liar out of me. So, okay, it worked on this one. Now, I have to tell you, this one is a piece of cake. This one is almost chicken bone easy where you stick a chicken bone in there and it opens. So I did, that's kind of cool. I finally did get something open with these. Let me do it again. Maybe, maybe not. With the others, I think I'd be in already. There we go. Okay, so they do work. Um, they worked on that, but I haven't got them to work on any of these other really easy wafer locks or a, even a duo, which is a little harder. It has up and bottom, uh, top and bottom, and then side, whoops, top and bottom and side guys. Um, so I don't know if I were ordering, I would just get the little box and these warded lock picks. So these aren't ready to be hauled away by the wrecker because I did just get into one. Then I'll try some more. And to be fair, I have not tried them on my other wafer locks, which uh, on my teardrop trailer, I have wafer locks on the doors and the uh, hatch that gets you into the galley where you can cook your chili and get a cold one out of the refrigerator. But I'm real hesitant to poke these into things, especially my trailer, where I might get them stuck. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Um, make a comment. If, if you found locks that these seem to work well with, certainly leave it in the comments. 
I think the difference between these two are, these are very stiff and they could get stuck and they don't, they're almost too stiff, I think. These, you can see, have a lot of play in them. And so you're not gonna get stuck, but they're gonna still, you know, actuate the wafers. Anyway, enough of all that. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. I love the comments. Thanks for uh, subscribing and hitting the like button. And we will see you next time.